Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more project ideas and tutorials. Hey everyone, a question I often get asked is how do you make all these special characters in Design Space? You might notice that sometimes letters have beautiful elaborate tails on them or even hearts in the middle. So today what I'm going to do is walk you through and show you how to access the special characters in Design Space. So I'm just going to scroll down and we're going to start fresh. Go over to text and type in the word that you want to use. I'm going to use family. Now the first thing you need to do when you want to add a special character to your design is you need to pick a font that has them. One font that's very popular is Samantha. If you don't have this already, you can go ahead and download it from defont.com. Now as you can see here, there are some pretty big holes between my letters. So we're just going to start by decreasing that. So go up to letter space and it's got the little side by side arrow and just decrease that. And I like to stop when I see a couple different letters touching. Not all of them are touching right now, but that's okay because we're going to fix that in a little bit. So what I want to do is change my F at the beginning to something different that has a nice swirly tail at the front. In order to do this, I need to go onto my computer and find its character map. Now I'm using a map, so all I have to do is go up to the top and just on the little magnifying glass search here, click on that and type in font book. If you're using a PC, you just want to click start and then look up character map instead. This is a great little application that's going to tell you all the characters you can use with every single font you have in your computer. In order to use this feature, you do need to make sure that your font is downloaded onto your computer and not just one that's in design space. So the font that we picked today was Samantha. So I can scroll down and click on Samantha. And as you can see here, these are all the standard text that you would normally see when you push your keyboard using this font. But if I scroll down, I can find that there's a lot of extra ones that are kind of hidden and I need to use this feature to unlock them. Samantha is a beautiful and super popular font because it has a couple different styles and they're available for every letter in the alphabet. So some have the little tails at the end, some at the beginning. Each one of these little letters by themselves is actually called a glyph. And what we want to do is go find the right glyphs that we want to use for our word. So since we're doing family, I want to find one that has a little swirl in the front of the F right here. And now a common problem that a lot of people say is that you can't just right click on it and copy. So what you need to do is use the shortcut on your keyboard instead. So what I'm going to do is just click on it and then click Command C. If you're using a PC, of course, this would be Control C. And then just go back to Cricut. Click on the word. And then just click on the letter that you want to replace. So I'm just going to highlight the F and then Command V to paste. And it copies right in there. So now I'm just going to go click back to font book and we're going to find one for the Y as well. Here we go, it's got a nice swirl at the end. Click on it, Command C. We'll go back to Cricut. And highlight the Y. And we'll just replace it with our new Y, so Command V. And I'll just resize it so it's easier to see here. Now, as you can notice, we still have a little bit of a space between the F and the A, as well as the L and the Y. So just click on the word, ungroup, and then you can pull over your F and pull over your Y. Now, instead of just attaching this, I am gonna weld it together so that when I go to print it out, I don't have any little holes in between my words. And there you go. So now that we've taken a look at that way, I'm going to show you a second way to use your character maps and add accents to your text. So just type in your words. The design I'm going to show you is quite popular with my clients for weddings or for a gift. So let's change our font. And we're gonna use Joseph Sophia. Again, if you don't have this font installed on your computer, you can go on to defont.com and just download it there. I'm just gonna decrease our letter space a bit to put them closer together. And that fixed almost all the letter spacing. I've still got a couple little spots here, but that's okay, we'll just go back and fix that at the end. So what we're gonna do is go into our font book. In font book, let's scroll down and find Joseph Sophia. So as you can see again, it's got all the normal letters here. But if you scroll down, you're going to be able to see all the extra things. I've picked this font specifically for this little heart glyph. So let's grab the H that we want. We'll copy it. Click on your text. And I'm going to replace the H with our new one. So later, when we go to fix the spacing, we'll fix this problem right here. But for now, we'll just keep going and adding our little glyphs. The one thing I want to do 
because I want to add a little detail onto the front and the back. So we'll go into our font book, grab our T, and then go back and grab our N. Great, and now it's a simple matter of just ungrouping and dragging the letters over so that we don't have any spaces between them. I like to just highlight a couple different letters at a time. So as you can see, these ones are all together nicely, but my problem area is right here. So I'll just bring all three of them over at the same time, and then I don't have to carry them over all individually. And we are good to go. Highlight all the letters and just weld them together. And there you have it just like that. We have two different designs ready to go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more project ideals and tutorials on all things Cricut.